Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamore here and we have a very strong opponent up against us. We have Jeremy Abel who 6 would the defending champion last week. So we will see how this goes. Um, I will state right off the bat. Uh, I do not have the Pokemon. Uh, I do not have Primarina like I wanted to and I did not have time to fix it and get it on my team. So I brought Salamence instead. So we will see how this goes. But we still have a pretty good team here. Um, figured he'd bring the double dragons. And I figured Garbodor is coming. Uh, so Volley is an obvious choice. Because uh, he kind of needs that fairy type. I'm assuming it's going to be fairy. Uh, Magmortar is something I prepared for. And really the only thing I didn't prepare for was the last Pokemon right there that just showed. I forgot what it was already. But we should be able to take this thing down. Alright, so he does go ahead and get the lead with Komo'o here. And I'm assuming he's going to do the throat spray thing. Oh man, and I did not prepare for the lead. Of course. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and leech seed this thing. Oh my gosh, she's just about to set up on me now. This is why I needed my Primarina. Uh, this sucks. This really sucks. Um, okay, anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I pretty much lose at this point. He's going to set up the... Clangorous. Oh, no. He's going to go for the Belly Drum. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Hopefully, we can take out the... Sub with this explosion here. But I mean, it is belly drummed up. So we are in a little bit of trouble here. Um, the good thing for us, it's for sure slower. So there's that. So hopefully Snowflake can get the kill with Ice Beam here. Hey, you got to give it to him, though. He did go for the 6-0, seeing Primarina didn't come. Now, the real question is, does he really try to save this thing, or does he just let it fodder off? All right, so Ice Beam does take down Kamo'o, so we do get lucky there. Luckily, no 6-0 sweep by Kamo'o, but we do not get rocks on the field, so that does suck for us, but... I don't think he has a rocker, so th that's one thing we don't have to worry about as well. He might try to get those spikes up, but we do have Cryogonal here with Rapid Spin to get that off the field, so we'll see what this thing ends up being, and it is electric. Alright, so it is electric, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Mary Jane here. For two reasons. I think uh, Cryogonal could be a late game sweeper if need be. And also to get those, uh, to get those, uh, what you call it up. Can't think of it right now. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, get the, the toxic spikes off the field. I sound like a retard. Jesus Christ. So I'm going to go ahead and strength zap here. It's going to be faster. We'll at least lower it to plus one instead of plus two. He's really trying to sweep us, though. He did get the speed boost as well, so we do got to watch out for that just in case Mary Jane goes down. But we're going to go ahead and go for the Toxic here. And let's see how much... Oh, he goes for the Swords Dance again. So now he's at plus three. But we are going to get the Toxic off, put it on a timer. And let's hope our investment pays off here. We're going to go ahead and go for a strength sap again. 
Okay, he goes Ice Fangs. He connects. Oh, and we are not living that. Oh, man. All right, so now we got a freaking Solvali at plus three with the plus one speed. Uh, and I did not bring, did not bring anything good for this. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and go Salamence here. We're going to fodder off some Pokemon. All right, so here we go. Get the Intimidate off. Probably going to go Ice Fang here. It's plus two now. So we're going to go Ice Fang here. Well, he's going to go Ice Fang. I'm going to go to Ninetales. So he's still plus two. We bring Drought, which isn't going to do much. But it's okay that we fodder this thing off because we don't have to worry about... Uh, we don't have to worry about, what you call it, the rain. He didn't bring rain. But we certainly are in a very bad position right now. Okay, so he makes sure he does the max health storm because he was probably predicting our, our, our Yachi Berry or something. Or maybe he was predicting we're real physically invested. But either way, we're going to waste two turns of Dynamax here. So I'm just going to go ahead and Flamethrower. He's going to be faster. So Max Lightning goes off. He gets Terrain up. I'm sorry this battle doesn't sound very exciting, but gosh, Primarina would have been so much help here, especially right off the bat. Okay. Let's go ahead and go Salamance again. Alright, so he's plus one now, so that's a little more manageable, but we're going to go ahead and switch out here, go to Snowflake, fodder that thing off. Alright, he goes for the Max Hellstorm again. Not very effective, so we live it pretty decently. We're getting chip off on it. Sorry for the sniveling. Okay. I, I still think we have a chance to bring this back a little bit. Um, on the off chance... I'm just going to go Ice Beam. No, you know what? I'm just going to recover here. Because, I mean, he's going to attack us with multi-attack anyway. He should knock us out. Okay. So, here we go. This is what it all comes down to. Uh, oh, so Vali goes down. Beautiful. Now, what comes out here? We're going to go ahead and go El Toro. Because we pretty much got coverage for everything. Hopefully he goes Garchomp here. Okay, so he goes Boombox, so he's most likely Scarfed. Now, do I waste my Dynamax here? Uh, I probably shouldn't. 
but I'm not a smart man. He has a bunch of mons left. All right, I'm not a smart man. I'm gonna go ahead and go for max strike here. My thought behind this is at least we'll get the speed drop. We should be able to live the hit. And then um, we won't have to worry about him outspeeding us on the next turn. So we'll get the knockout. Oh, so he's not Scarf. Maybe it's Specs. I was really predicting Scarf there. But it's fine. We're Dynamaxed. We got our Sheer Force Life Orb Pokemon up. I don't know if Sheer Force is still boosting moves because of Dynamax moves. But we're about to find out. Okay, so now he sends out Garboder. I can't remember if he used his uh can't remember if he used his thing already, his Dynamax. Oh yeah, he did. He did. Okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get Max Quake to get our special defense up. And we don't really need to worry about terrain. I'm not too worried about priority from Garchomp. And this way we can live this hit pretty well. Alright, so our special defense raises. We lose some HP. Goes for Toxic. Fine by me. I'm just going to go for the Max Quake again. Alright, so we prevented two sweeps so far. Whew, luckily for us. Now all we got to do is take out this guard chomp that's about to come in. I'm assuming. And uh, the real question is, can we take a hit from the guard chomp? I don't know if it's faster. It shouldn't be faster. Okay, so Garchomp comes out here. And we're about to find out. There is a chance to knock this thing out if it's not invested at all. I'm going to just go ahead and go for the Outrage here. It is not sheer force boosted. We do outspeed. Oh, and does not take out the guard jump. And we get rough skinned. I, th I think we go down on this turn. Oh, and he got the speed boost. All right. Well, I think uh, if we can't get around this thing with uh, Salamence. Um, this is where we lose, but, uh, let's see. I am Jolly Max Speed. I think he still outspeeds me by two, and then he just got the speed boost. We do get the Intimidate, though, so maybe we can live a hit. It all comes down to this. Should I just Dragon Dance? Because, I mean, if I Dragon Dance, I ensure the kill on Magmortar, too, and it might be Scarf. I'm just going to go Dragon Dance here. I mean, uh, if worse comes to worse, we just don't live the hit. Um, two. Oh, he's going. Oh, man. Maybe he predicted the. <laughs> he probably predicted that. Oh, man. He's got his, got his speed boost up again. But uh, hopefully he goes skill shot again. I doubt it. Uh, I think we just threw the game right there. Oh, I think I just threw the game right there. Go skill shot again. Okay. Hit two times. Just two times. Just two times. Stop, 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 stop. No. Damn it. So that was his only move. And we did not get lucky twice. So GG Jeremy. 
uh, we lose to Garchomp. But we did not get swept, so there's, there's positivity right there, I guess. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.